everything that I get really nervous about. I did it. I, it wasn't terrible. No, she didn't do it. Well, we got on it. I was like, can I turn back now? Can I like, listen, I want to get off. And he was like, no, you have to face your fears. I'm like, I don't have to get on this thing. This is unnecessary. <laughs> he wouldn't let me leave, so we did it. Uh, the guide was very, it was nice to have the guide on it. And yeah, he like, he made crack jokes and it made it a little bit more, you know, calming because, you know, he acts normal and it feels normal, even though in my brain I was like, yeah, you've been running for 160 years, but today could be the day, but whatever. It wasn't, we survived. And he's just like, you're ridiculous. <laughs> when you're having fun. It is now three o'clock. We have got our nourishment and we're now on the American side of Niagara Falls and we're gonna go into the Cape of Winds. Tom's looking at a peep show. Here, get this one. Would you have paid 25 cents to see the falls? Sure. All right, my dear.
the poncho was ineffective. I am very wet. <laughs> like, my pants, my shoes, <laughs> my hoodie, everything. I am so wet right now. So much water just run out. Yeah. <laughs> so when you do the cable winds, it's not you will get wet, it's you will get soaked. Uh, especially if you like water, especially if you go into hurricane deck. Uh, you get soaked. <laughs> Ponchos are ineffective. <sighs> what time is it? It's almost four o'clock. I'm honestly done with my day. I don't know what he still wants to do. But we've been up since six doing this. I'm done. <laughs> but we'll see what he wants. When I walk, my feet squish. <laughs> It would take too long. He was trying to dry his hoodie. No. So Thomas has been so gracious to say that, yeah, we can go home and, not go home, but go back to the hotel and rest. I checked my phone. We did 10,900 some steps. No wonder my ankles are starting to hurt. Um, that's a lot and it's only four o'clock really. It's 3.57, it's close enough. But we've decided we have our fill. You know, after you get rained on by a waterfall, you feel like you've experienced everything you could. Yeah. At least in one day. It's a good way to end the day. Yes. I'm gonna go home. Home. Hotel. 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 I'm gonna go hotel. Get changed. Rest a little bit. I'm not wearing these shoes again for a couple of days because they're squishy. Did you bring extra shoes? Mm -hmm. Oh dear. You're gonna have to wear your flip flops out. Mm, I didn't, I didn't bring flip flops. Oh, you didn't even bring them? No. Yeah. I brought four pairs of shoes. <laughs> All right. Bye bye. So, this is our Canadian haul. Most of it came from the duty free shop, some of it came from gift shops. And that picture, <laughs> he wants to show you the picture. We got this at Niagara Falls. They do a green screen effect. And night. I like the night one better. But we have that. So. Uh, he got uh, some cozy socks. I believe he... They have these in like every single gift shop. He finally bought them at like the third one we went to. He was like staring at them and inspecting them. And finally he pulled the trigger. It comes with two. He's wearing one now. <laughs> he bought these three Cadbury bars because he knows I like Cadbury. I don't know if they're all for me. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, he doesn't even know. I told him, put him in the stockings. You know, that'd be good. I don't know why he bought the Milka. Uh, I never heard of it. And he wanted it? And I wanted it. Okay. The keychains are for people at work. I don't think he knows who he's giving what to who, so. I'm going to be like, he can't pick. Yeah. <laughs> so, I like the Canadian denominations. That's nice. Yeah. Uh, he had me buy these milk kisses from Canada. They just look like um, maple milk flavor, no, maple flavored kisses. So they're just like, what? Maple chews. That's what they look like. Amy requested an Aerial bar, so I found one. They have this three pack of maple syrup. Ugh. They sell maple syrup all over Ontario. Like, they know that's what Americans sometimes come to get. They know it's what they're known for. You can find maple syrup anywhere. Um... I bought a three pack because I want to break it up and put it in stockings. Got a pin because I like putting things on my wall. You might have seen it in a couple videos. Got our traditional Christmas ornament. Because wherever we travel, we tend to like to get a Christmas ornament. And then at a gift shop, Tom wanted a snack. So we got this maple crunch. Dark, dark chocolate, chocolate with a hint of maple syrup. It did have a hint of something else. So yeah. And that was our haul from Canada. Yeah. Is that a potato? It is. <laughs> 
the hotel restaurant was honestly better than I, it was honestly better than I thought it would be. I had a chicken schnitzel sandwich. And I didn't really read the description. <laughs> but my brain was like, okay, you know what schnitzel is? Schnitzel is, you know, lightly breaded chicken, so it's a chicken sandwich, a fried chicken sandwich basically. Uh but it was so much more than that. It was lightly breaded seasoned chicken with sauerkraut, sliced potatoes, a cheese sauce, and bacon. And those things together made it amazing. <laughs> and it was part of like their Oktoberfest menu. October is, you know, Saturday. But we can indulge now. It was good. I don't usually like um, sauerkraut. Like, I will not eat it alone. But I've noticed, I will eat it with the protein. It's a while ago, I don't know if they still do it, but a couple of years back during Oktoberfest, Iron Hill Brewery had this kibasi egg roll, and it had sauerkraut and mustard inside of it. That was good. And now I had this schnitzel sandwich, and it had sauerkraut with the chicken and the potatoes, and the cheese sauce, and the bacon, and it complemented it so well. Like, that acid cut through all that fat. It was delicious. Very happy we decided to go there. <laughs> really, we decided to go there out of laziness. Like, you know, we did so much walking around today and exploring today that I was looking around for restaurants because when we go to new places, I kind of do want to just, like, see the local stuff, but the restaurant for the hotel was just there. <laughs> And we're tired, so we were like, let's just go there. We don't have to get in the car. We can just walk down. And you know, it worked out. He had a steak sandwich. He liked it. All right, we're probably going to just hang out until we go to sleep. And then originally the plan was to explore a little bit of Buffalo tomorrow, but it's a six-hour drive. <laughs> and to get here, we left at 8, 30-ish. And... It's probably closer to nine because I did have to get gas. Um, but we didn't get here until after five. And I do want to get home to have dinner with the kids. So I guess we, you know, we decided it's probably best not to spend too long here. So the plan right now is get up, get up, get packed, check out, go to breakfast. Stop over at Walmart so we can get some water because just coming up here, I drank three bottles of water in the car and it just seems like it, that'll probably happen again. Um, and then start headed out. And I got the video chat with the babies earlier. That was nice. That was nice. I like that. <laughs> I always look forward to going on vacation with all the kids, and then I'm just like, oh, I want to talk to my babies. Like, there were little kids at um, Niagara. Like, little, little kids. Some people brought their babies, and I was like, I miss my babies. But I do not regret not taking them to this. Because at least I got to experience this with just my husband the next time. The next time we decide to go see Niagara Falls, yeah, we'll bring the kids. I do think, especially the Canada side, I think it's super kid-friendly. Uh, we were talking about the difference between the Canada side and the uh, American side because the consensus seems to be people like the Canadian side better. It's very obvious why. The Canadian side is more fun as far as, you know, they have attractions and they it doesn't it's not set up like a park like the the new york side is a state park and it's set up just like a state park canada side yeah it's a it's a park but it also has restaurants and stores like every single attraction ended with a um, gift shop like it was disney so they very much commercialized Niagara Falls, where, you know, the, the United States side is kind of shied away from that a little bit. Yeah, there's attractions that cost money, but it's all, like, very natural and very low-tech. But definitely, the Cave of Winds was super fun. Like, of all the attractions we did. 
uh, Giggle Wins was the best. <laughs> uh, even if we got soaked. But I think that's what made it fun. And yeah, I just can't get over the fact that, you know, when you go behind the falls on the uh, Canadian side and you see the, you know, backside of water, eighth wonder of the world, uh, they have all these bars and signs, you know, saying, you know, don't jump over this bar, don't touch the water. And sure, maybe the horseshoe falls are a little bit stronger than the bridal veil, but I like that the Americans just built a deck super close to the waterfall and are just like, yeah, you want to get soaked by a waterfall? Just go stand under it. It's fine. Just do it. <laughs> but that was really fun. <laughs> It's October 2nd, and it's a rainy, rainy day, but rain is good. Hopefully, they'll no longer say we're in a drought, because we seem to have had a lot of rain recently. And that is the end of the vlog. It was super foggy, like very Silent Hill-esque, for about four hours driving home. So that was an experience. Like, there were parts I really couldn't see what was in front of me. So, thankfully, traffic was pretty light. Traffic going up and back was really good. So, no complaints there. <sighs> and now we're home. <laughs> and then, you know, we had to get stuff done. We had to do shopping yesterday. Laundry has to get done today so that I have work stuff for tomorrow. And he probably needs work stuff for tomorrow, too. Uh, he's out doing the laundry now. He didn't want to watch my mom. So I'm here with my mom. Uh, she's kind of up and about right now. So I don't know. Maybe she'll wander in the background. Don't worry. I just want to let her, you know, she can wander about if she wants. I am so happy that nothing really catastrophe-wise happened while I was gone. Um, from what I got from Amy, she was pretty good. She just refused to take her meds one night and like she chewed them up and spit them out and i was like you know what just let it go let it go for one night and she was pretty good uh the kids were really good so that's good it's like if my mother's gonna be a pain in the butt then at least the children are good um and i'm happy to be home so that was our anniversary trip. We've taken about three of them. We, took, we went to Hawaii in 2019. 2020, we didn't do anything, obviously. Uh, 2021, we went to Countersport. Uh, 2022, obviously, we went to Niagara Falls. So what is 2024 gonna hold? I don't know. What's 2025 gonna hold? Uh, I have an idea. Because our thought was, you know, big vacations for every five years. So the next big one is he wants to go to Italy. So I don't know. Maybe that'll happen in 2024. Maybe. We'll see. But that's a while away. We don't have to worry about that right now. Right now, all I have to worry about is these precious, precious memories that I have of Niagara Falls. And I'm thankful that I got to go on it. I am thankful for Amy that she was willing to watch my mother. I am sorry that it didn't quite work out uh, with her sister like she hoped. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> now I have to punish you on camera. Mm. <laughs> 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 so this you know i had lots of fun with my husband i'm glad we did it and that's 
listening to that. So what's up for Vlogmas in the future? Well, tomorrow I go to work, so I don't know. Maybe I'll give you a tour of our work decorations because some people have decorated for Halloween. I have. My, <laughs> if you see my TikToks, you've already seen it. Um, Mommy, pull up your pants. Why are you taking them down? Mm, it's a day. Well, I got this far. Thanks for watching. Bye.